Right, probability, level two, um, the external paper from 2017 again. This time we are carrying on with question two. Now, the last video did 2A, and we had the answers from that here. We're going to need that tree diagram again, so we'll come back to that in a second. So, let's have a look. We've got, the pro what's the probability that a randomly selected lamb survives until it is weaned? Um, that it will be a from a ewe that produced a single lamb. So just wrap your head a little bit around what it's asking you first. So of the lambs that survive, how many of them came from a single birth? That's what it's asking you. And remember, there's an equal number of one twin or both twins surviving until they're weaned. So on this branch we had before, remember this one where they both survive actually gives us two lambs. So we need to find a way of double counting how many lambs come out of that branch. Um, this one, of course, only gives us one, and this one gives us one, okay? So, if we have a think about what we're trying to work out here, it is a conditional probability where we're only going to select from the lambs that survive, and we want to find out how many of them came from a single birth, okay? So, it's the probability that it's from a single birth, given that we know it survived, so just of the surviving lambs. So this will be the number of surviving single birth lambs. My bad writing, that says surviving. And over the number of surviving in total. Okay, we've got to find a way to work that out. Now I'm going to imagine we have 100 births. This is much easier to think about this if you put some numbers on it rather than just sticking to proportions. So in 100 births, we can work out the number of surviving single lambs we would expect. We actually worked out something towards this over here. So this was the probability of a birth giving to a, a birth that was a single lamb that survives. That's 0.559. So in 100, we would expect 55.9. Um, surviving single right now in that same hundred how many would we expect to be surviving in total so what are the other ways they could survive so surviving from a twin birth um, if they both survive well Again, we got this probability over here on the previous question. The probability they both survive was 0.14. So if it's 0.14 that they both survive, that leads us to think that 14 births survive, but those births produced twins. So both of them survived. So that equals 28 lambs. Okay. Now of the twin births, the second way that we could do this is that one survives. Now, if we look back at our branch, that's actually gonna be the same. If we go this way or we go that way, it's got the same probability. So this will also be 0.14, which leads us to 14 births that survive. And that gives us 14 lambs because it was from just one of them surviving. Okay, so now we have, if we go back to trying to put it into this fraction here, 55.9 is our surviving single lambs out of the total, which is 55.9 plus 28 plus 14. That's the total of the lambs we expect to survive out of 100. And if we put that calculation in, we get 55.9 out of 97.9, which gives us 0.571. I'll just pause there actually and show you what the um, marking was for this one. So if at some point we got the 55.9, or in this case they did it with a 1,000, um, I just went for 100. I, it doesn't really matter. Um, I like to think of a hundreds because of percentages and stuff, but it's not that big of a deal. So if you got 559 or 55.9 or 0.559 used somewhere correctly in, in this sort of thing, it was worth a U mark. 
if you go through um, the whole of the thing correctly and you get the right probability, then that was worth an excellence mark. Now, they did also make some allowances for misunderstanding of the, the, of the question, like I told you about in the last one. Um, we're going to ignore that. I, I, I'm not sure exactly what the misunderstandings that were that they allowed for, but this was the probability that was being looked for um, originally for excellence. So that would give us an excellence here. OK, now, lambing percentage. This is the number of lambs that survive until they're weaned compared to the breeding ewes expressed as a percentage. So there are some ewes that actually just don't get pregnant and don't produce lambs. So it's known that 85% of these ewes do produce lambs. Um, so we want to work out the lambing percentage for this long-term study. So think about this as a step before our original tree diagram. There would be a branch here of um, breeding and not breeding. Right. So if we think about that before we even get onto the original tree diagram, we can have breeding ewes and not breeding would have given us a beginning branch of a 0.85 for those percentages that do actually breed breed from the all of the ewes that we've got and a 0.14 of our ewes that don't breed and don't produce any lambs. So from there, we then want to work out the proportion of lambs that we get out of that. Well, we actually just worked that out up here. This was this total of how many lambs we expected from our breeding ewes. So the proportion of lambs produced out of that is 0.979. Remember, I had times these by 100 to think of this in easier terms up here. So proportionally, that's 0.979. So now our overall working out will be the 0.85 of those who we expect to breed multiplied by the proportion of how many lambs they will produce per ewe and that gives us our final answer of 0 0.8322 expressed as a percentage because we want the lambing percentage that's 83 or 83.2 percent is our lambing percentage for these merino ewes now take a look at the mark scheme and you can see they haven't drawn it out as a tree diagram, but they've done the same um, thing here. They've actually gone through working out the number of live lambs again. I didn't go through that again because I'd already worked it out in the previous question. Express it as a percentage and that gets you your excellence mark again over here. Again, ignore that bit. That was from misunderstandings of the question that they allowed for. And if you work part way through that, you can get your achieved merit answers, but the excellence was getting to the 83.2.